and thank you for coming to watch the second part of this two-part episode of Minecraft, a very cool game. Definitely a thumbs up on that. Last episode, we were discovering all the things we didn't do the first episode, and we tried to get them done. Did we get them all done? Well, let's check it out and see. That it will be here in a time of need and a threat because it's watching. So, I need a you. You are gonna watch up. Okay, I was wondering where the girl was. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Was this eight? One. 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 Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Yeah. Oh, hokey smokes. That means I have to make it bigger if I'm going to do this properly. Oh, well. We just won't do it properly then. We'll just do the whole... Um... Improperly... Thing. I... We'll just do it. That, I think that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm not going to worry about whether it's quote-unquote proper or not. You know, because it doesn't have to be proper. It just has to be. Now I've got the water flowing at an angle there because I was an idiot. <laughs> Luckily for me, I was not actually an idiot, but I do feel kind of goofy for having done that. I mean, there's nothing idiotic about it. It's just a thing. It's what happens when you're human. And I am currently a human being. And that's a good thing. Thumbs up for that. I want to continue being human for as long as is humanly possible. I mean, we are physical beings. And in this universe, all physical beings have a beginning, a middle, and an end. I'd like to approach my expiration date at a much later time. Yeah, that's good. Especially since I went from, like, nothing to 42, I think. Oh, my lord god, I gotta go make another one of these now. Okay, okay. That's life. Alright. Which means... Wood. I mean, it means I need wood. I mean it means oh also I had wondered I recorded if you like watching first-person shooter things on retro type games and you know, I did a I am doing a blood playthrough and the the microphone was just horrible and I couldn't figure out what was going on I had had a whole bunch of Windows updates and whenever Windows does Windows update all of my software resets and so where the heck is okay it's over here that was a weird sound so bandicam had decided because i use bandicam as my recorder bandicam of course decided that it was going to start using the microphone on my webcam instead of my you know at 2020 USB microphone, which is a really good microphone. And so the sound was just horrific. My sincere apologies. At least I got it figured out. So today, it should be better, I hope, I hope. Okay, cobblestone dirt, we'll need that, and, and, well, we don't need that. We're good that way. And we're good that way. Yeah. Okay. Wait. I managed to remember before I got too far, even though I did this part. Boom, boom. Because I had come all the way back here, not to praise Caesar, but to bury him. I am not, what was it, Marcus Aurelius makes that speech, I think, from whatever damn movie or play it was. So, I don't know. It's okay, though. Ooh. I figured out what I'm going to do with the pumpkins. Which means 
I have to widen all of these by one, by, by two, because I have to widen the bottom stuff. I got it figured out. It's going to be good. And I'm not just saying that because I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I do know what I'm talking about. I may not get the logistics perfect the first time, and that's okay. Yeah. You're right underneath here? Okay, we will have to remember that. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, I don't like the fact that there are all those zombies, but nobody asked me for my approval, did they? Unfortunately not. Okay. So after I finish this, i got to level off the other edges of those, pointed with my head, realizing, of course, afterward that pointing with my head doesn't really help when I'm indicating things virtually, especially if the things I'm indicating don't really line up with, you know, where my head is aligned in the real world. I don't know if it is or is not. You know what? I'm into aesthetics here today. We gotta make this look nice. Oh, that's just boofles. Absolutely boofles. Okay, so then this comes out two or one. Just one. But that means we also have to replace all that stuff. So first, because it is getting dark, this will hopefully also help identify where the food area is because we're not only marking out where you know, trying to keep light in this area and deprive the villains I accused them of being villains they're not really they're the ones that live here I was the one that was transported to this place against my wishes We're still going to deprive them of spawn points in this land because it, I live here now. And, you know, sorry. I mean, you know, bummer. But, ooh, fish. Or maybe drowned dead guys. Some watery dead boys. I wouldn't mind some. Some of the boys coming over to visit. I just don't want the boys then, you know, feasting on my flesh. I like my flesh where it is, on my bones, and I don't want it to leave my bones and start residing inside of some creature's tummy. I like it on my bones. I want to keep it on my bones. I will be much, much happier if we keep that flesh where it is. Those are noisy, noisy horses. Okay. All right, so, oh, Oh, that's, I didn't leave a, a very, very lit area here leading up to my, my door, did I? It is way too dark around here. Oh, way too dark around here. Oh, it's way too dark around here. Oh. I am such a coward. I've harped on this over and over again, and I'm going to continue harping on it just in case there's something up there I didn't see that could follow me down. I'm going to continue harping on it over and over again because it's true. And a good developer uses these things to their advantage. And that is, of course, that I, we evolved on this world and our eyes and ears were set up to deliver to our brains information. Our brains have to treat that information as if it is 100% correct. 
Because if it does not, well, you know, a lot of our ancestors, oh, I do have to take this out too, because I'm gonna plant here, they're gonna have a thing here, and then there's a row here. Okay, so it does have to come out too. This is all gonna make sense when I'm done. But you, all of our ancestors that did not listen to their ears, that did not pay attention to what their eyes said, they generally died and then did not have children. And then those children of parents that were paranoid survived and they were paranoid and then passed on that paranoia to their children. And as that continued, of course, that paranoia and survival stuff just hangs on. So now video games really grab us because, of course, our brains have to treat what we see as real. It doesn't matter that it's on the screen. It doesn't matter that it's a video game. Our eyes are telling our brains that this thing is happening. I'm irritated that I didn't make another... Um, what's the word? Shovel? Yeah, shovel. But that's life. So our eyes... It, our eyes and our ears and our brains all work together to tell us things. And we have to listen to that. Those of us who did not, didn't have children. And those of us that are alive now are the descendants of those that paid attention when stuff like that happened. So our brains, when they see stuff through our eyes, has no choice but to take it as real. So yeah, I get freaking scared when it's dark and I can't see where I'm looking out there because that's scary. And with our ears, again, our ancestors who did not pay attention, did not survive, they have kids. So yeah, we pay attention because our ancestors that didn't, didn't have kids because they didn't live long enough. So, yeah, I am a coward when it comes to this sort of stuff, and while I may not necessarily like that, it's something that is a fact, and I'm working on it. I'm just going to be replacing all this stone with dirt, so I can show you, hopefully, what we're going to be doing here. Because I'm going to have... Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that right. I'm going to have a row of vegetable and water and... I think. I can't remember now all of a sudden. I think I'm going. Uh, no, no, I'm doing alright. I'm doing fine. I'm doing good. Come on, let me out. Okay. Because some of this is going to be pathway. Oh, I really do need to put a water in between, don't I? Though? To keep the water from, I mean, the pumpkin from growing out onto the. Well, maybe it'll work out. Hey. Thank you. Good deal, good deal. Let's see. Because, yeah, up along the side here at least, I was I was thinking we would go and then we plant the pumpkin seed here. And now we've got a whole line of pumpkins growing there. And then we do the same thing. And then we do the same thing over here. And then, and then I'm just doing it all this way to maintain aesthetics. I mean, it's all dirt, and dirt, the, the dirt doesn't grow, and plants don't grow on rocks. So we're just replacing all this. Kind of like a. Uh, it's not a. It's not a Zen garden, but more of a, just a Zen activity. That's okay. We're just taking this out. Because this is, after all, as stated many a time, it is a relaxation series. Just to chill out, play some Minecraft, relax, take our minds off the horrors of the day. Except for, of course, for the horrors that I bring up for comedic effect. Hopefully, comedic effect. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, bringing up horrific things for comedic effect is merely just bringing up horrific things. That was a very, very strange acting block. Okay, s okay, over this way. Yeah, all the torches there. I was, I had no ideas where to go. 
Okay, what am I looking for? What did I run out of? Dirt? Did I run out of dirt? Is that what I ran out of? Is that what I'm trying to say? I ran out of dirt? You know, the dirt that I had right up there? Ugh. My brain hurts. Which also reminds me, I do have a, a character for a fantasy type thing that, that I want to write. Oh, darn it. That I want to write where it's an ogre. But it's an ogre that is just as smart as everybody else in this world. It was born you know, with a, an unusual brain. But even though it has an unusual brain, and that it's just as smart as everyone else, the rest of it is not. And so even though it, for the price of being studied, these, this university paid for its housing and all this and, and taught this ogre. And so it is a very well-educated ogre. But their bodies are not built for, you know, intelligent discourse and all that. They're built to quickly chase down, subdue, and eat prey. And so, Skolm is very smart, he is. But his brain and his mouth not really set to work together. So, he tries real hard to be a vegetarian. But it's hard, and when he doesn't think, sometimes he finds he's eating someone again. Life is rough as an ogre. So, not the ogres that you would think of like, you know, it's not a Shrek-like ogre. And if you've ever played the tabletop role-playing game, RuneQuest, ogres in that game, at least back when I used to play tabletop role-playing games back in the like 80s, the RuneQuest ogre was, it's a very, very beautiful creature, but its diet consists wholly of people. So it's not a very nice creature. This is working out well. I just, oh, I forgot my seeds so I could finish doing the rest of the pumpkin. Do I have that many seeds left? I probably just have to do like one one more pumpkin. My, oh, let's just do them all. My kitty cat keeps jumping in and out of the window. What, I didn't grab, what did I do? Good Lord. I didn't need to, to use this. Okay, let's go plant the rest of these seeds. And then we'll call this one a job well done for the day. Oh yes, but I was saying, wasn't I? How is for relaxation purposes that that's what we're here for. Just to relax and chill out. Beat on some monsters. Smack some grass around. I'm laughing at myself because I was trying to figure out whether or not I was going to say clap some Enderman cheeks. <laughs> All the things that you would normally do on a on a, a lazy Minecraft day. But there we go. That's pretty good. We've gotten a good garden started. We've got a great big pit in the ground from where I foolishly tried to engage with that creeper with my wooden sword. I need to get a better one. We've done a lot of stuff, and that's a very, very good thing. Oh, sun's starting to go down again. Good Lord. So we will continue here on the next day. But until then, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is a very good thing.